Number 14, letter A. Viewers of Star Trek hear of an antimatter drive on the Starship Enterprise. One possibility for such a future. Okay, what strength of a magnetic field is needed to hold antiprotons? Antiprotons. Moving at 5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second in a circular path of 2 meters in radius. Antiprotons have the same mass as a proton, but opposite or a negative charge. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for magnetic field strength. They're telling us a radius of curvature. We're going to be using this formula that the radius of a uh, the radius of orbit of a moving charged particle in a magnetic field will equal the mass of that moving particle multiplied by the velocity of the moving particle. It's tangential velocity, not angular velocity. So this is in meters per second, not radians per second. Divided then by the charge, okay, of that particular moving particle. Technically, it's absolute value multiplied then by the magnetic field strength. Now, if we're asked to solve for the magnetic field strength, literally just do a little switcherooski, right? Just cross multiply those terms across and look, there it is, you solved it, right? It takes three, not even, two seconds. So what's the mass of this thing? Well, it said that the antiproton has the same mass as a proton and guess what? They didn't give it to you, so guess what that means? You gotta memorize it. So 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Okay, that's the value. That's it in kilograms multiplied by the tangential velocity they told that to you. Did they say tangential? No, but they gave it to you in meters per second. So that's how I know that is tangential. Otherwise, if it were radians per second, ooh, a way that they connect some chapters, right? Give you radians per second, you might have to do a conversion to get that into meters per second. All right, you'd have to know the radius. So uh, five times 10 to the seventh, then divided by the charge. Now it's absolute value. They said it has the uh, opposite or negative charge of a proton. So it's basically what that what they're saying is it has a charge of an electron because that's the same, right? 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, but it's absolute value. So who really cares? And then times the radius and they gave that to you in meters of two. Uh, so there's no conversions necessary. So look, another, another plug and chug as they call it. 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th multiplied then by five times 10 to the seventh divided by now parenthesis. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th is the absolute value, so it's just going to be positive multiplied by 2. Okay? And the answer now comes out to be 0 0.261 Tesla. Okay? Tesla. There you go. All right. Guys, thanks for tuning. Oh, 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 part B. Is this field strength obtainable with today's technology? Yes, anything we put our mind to, we can obtain. Of course. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon. All right? Take care.